Graph the equation shown, then choose the correct graph. Now the standard form for an ellipse equation is x minus h squared over, could be a squared, plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And the a's and the b's could be switched around, but that really isn't a big deal. So the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out the center of the ellipse. x minus 2, x minus h, you're going to have 2 for an x-coordinate. And then y minus k, y plus 1, you're going to have negative 1 for a y-coordinate. So you're going to start off at the center at 2, negative 1, which is there. And then the 16 that's underneath the x-squared part, that's the same as 4-squared. So the distance along the horizontal axis from the center is 4. So I'm going to go out four each direction. And then divided by nine, that's divided by three squared. So nine is the same as three squared. That means the vertical distance from the center to the edge of the ellipse is three. So in this case, the ellipse is wider than it is tall. So the x-axis is the major axis, and the y-axis is the minor axis. So the x-axis has the vertices, the y-axis has the covertices. Now let me draw the ellipse. And the last part is finding the coordinates for the foci. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Use that Pythagorean relationship. The c squared is the part we don't know. And the a squared is 16. And the b squared is 9, so minus 9. So c squared equals 7. So C is radical 7. So let me use a calculator. I mean, I could estimate radical 7 in my head, but I want to make sure I get an accurate estimate. So radical 7, 2.6. So C is about 2.6. That means along the major axis, which is the wider part of the ellipse, you're going to go 2.6 from the center each direction to plot your foci. Alright, so there's your graph.